Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm Caroline and today is all about silver. The theme is silver, silver tones, silver items, silver colored things. So if any werewolves are watching in the audience, consider this your trigger warning. First up, I do have some silver pieces from Ana Luisa and I am just, I'm just so excited and honestly pleasantly surprised. So long story short, I've always considered hoop earrings to be, they can run the risk of being a little matronly and so I've always kind of avoided them, especially in gold. But I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and so I went ahead and got these silver hoop earrings from Ana Luisa and oh my goodness. I. I'm like pleasantly surprised. I think that they look much more modern, especially you have these mismatched set that I'm wearing here. They have the sparkle element. I think the silver color really helps in, in pushing them into modern territory. That's not to say that the gold earrings aren't equally cute, but for me, I really wanted and needed this kind of differentiation. They just catch the light really well. They're not too obnoxious. You can definitely wear them for things like the office and you know, during the day, but the sparkle element means that you can wear them for dinner as well. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at these. So these are mismatched again, so you can go ahead and stack them if you have multiple piercings like I have. You can wear you know, both of these styles in the same ear. You can wear them on either side. You can mix and match. And I like that you don't have to buy them individually. If you are a regular um, constituent of my channel, you'll know that I'm an Ana Luisa brand ambassador and you'll also know that the brand is a carbon neutral brand, a water neutral brand. They use recycled materials when they're able to. Their packaging is recyclable and reusable, like these really, really just high quality dust bags. I know that, you know, dust bags are not always the most exciting thing, but instead of just the drawstring, you do have these magnets here so you can store your pieces when you travel, which I think is great. You can also store other things in here, like um, loose headphones and things like that, which I think is cool. And, ooh, I love these. <laughs> I like the delicate nature of these little pearl accent. So if you're interested in any of these styles, or just checking out any of the other pieces, um, make sure that you go ahead and check that link in the description box down below so they know that I sent you and you can go ahead and get a little discount. All right, continuing on our silver theme, I do have this bag here from Stella McCartney. Many of you will be familiar with Stella McCartney, not only for her you know, famous lineage, but because she is a fashion design icon in her own right. She has, this is gonna be a pretty recognizable style. This is her classic Falabella style with the chain detail. Stella McCartney's brand is entirely vegan. This is a crossbody style. Make sure you stick around because I will be showing you exactly what fits inside. Some people have asked me and have been concerned about the quality and the wear and tear because you're paying a lot of money still for Stella McCartney even though you're not getting things like leather because it's a vegan company. But you're certainly not sacrificing in quality. And very surprisingly, the material is super, super soft. It feels like a suede material when it's not. I think Stella McCartney's material is, is great. This is one of those brands where you are getting quality and I can definitely say, for me at least, the wear and tear looks to be fine. I haven't had this bag for, I've had this bag for maybe half a year. Um, I did take this on vacation. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I came back from a cruise to Alaska and a trip to Vancouver. And this was the bag that I brought around, wore it all over the ship and it did me really well. I don't really see, I don't see any any marks or anything. You have this longer crossbody strap, but you can also wear it on the shoulder. Inside, it's an open space with just a flat pocket in the back. Do I have anything interesting in there? No, these are just these are just the cards that come with it. So would I buy this again? I would, but you can definitely save money on this by getting it from Farfetch. This is not sponsored. Um, this is not sponsored, 
but we ended up, uh, my husband ended up helping me get this and um, we ended up saving, you know, several hundred dollars because we went through Farfetch instead of going through, I think Bloomingdale's um, was the original place where he got in. I was like, no, 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 you can save money if you, you go through Farfetch and you use a discount code. Um, typically, Stella McCartney is not excluded from discount codes, which is why you can get really great deals. I do think it's worthwhile for the quality, but since you can get discounts on it, why would you not try? Okay, I have another item to show you, and it does continue on with this silver theme slightly, but I do want to remind you, stick around because I am going to be showing what fits inside that Stella McCartney, um, and I have also used this piece from Prada, but I put it back in the box so we could have a little moment together. This is also a gift from my husband. He has excellent taste, if I do say so myself and it is this little card holder. I know that this is pink, but it has silver hardware, which I thought justified including it in my silver themed video. Find the name of the style, I will flash it on the screen. If not, I'll just make sure to put the link in the description box down below so you can check that out if you're interested in this one. It does come in multiple colors, but I wanted the pink one because I think it's really cute. Something that I've been doing recently is using compact card holders instead of full size or even half size wallets it's because some of my purses are really small and so it's just easier if I keep my cards in something nice and slim all the time so I don't have to change my purse and my wallet so this does have a pocket in the front I am kind of nervous to put a card in it I haven't lost anything or had anything fall out to give me actual concern but just because it's loose and it is wider than your average card holder. It just made me a little wary. So I think that if you have something like maybe a Metro card or if you wanna just put receipts in there, something not super important, that's where I would put that in that front slot there. In the back, you do have three slots here and they're secured with this button flap here. It's actually not annoying. To have this flat. I was worried at first, but um, something that I do recommend is putting your most used card in that top slot. It's the easiest to grab out. I thought maybe the front slot would be the choice, but it turns out the back top slot is the key because then when you're using it, your hand kind of pushes the flap aside and then you can go ahead and pull the card out. Like I said, it is wider than your average card holder, so I have actually been able to fit, you know, double cards in, and I'm not worried about them falling out because they have this nice snap closure. So you can fit two, four, six, technically eight cards in this card holder, which is amazing. You also have this zipper pocket, which I think actually has some cash in it right now. Um, you have the zipper pocket right here. You can put cash and coins in it, which is what I wanted it for. If you are um, not a cash type of person, you can also put additional cards. You can put rewards cards, things like that. So even though this is a very slim profile piece, you can still get a lot of pieces in it. All right, I have stuffed this to the brim and you can see it is pretty full, but it's not super distorted or anything. You can kind of see the outline of my phone here. I'll go ahead and start to show you what is inside. You can see that there is quite a bit of stuff in here, and obviously this is, you know, just types of things you can fit. I have a phone here in a case with a pop socket wallet. This is an iPhone XS. Obviously my new card case. And of course you don't have to put a card case, especially in a bag as small as this. You can certainly fit you know, your cards and wallets in this back slip pocket here and that'll save you additional room. I can also fit a compact. And this is not just a compact mirror. You can see it's a compact powder. So you definitely are able to fit a good amount of items. I have my Anna Luisa earrings. You know, you can never go to a party without some bling. I actually have a L'Occitane one ounce lotion. 
Um, you can obviously decant this into a smaller container. I also have, you know, a full size rollerball perfume. And I actually have both a full size lipstick and a lip balm. So you can fit quite a bit in here. I don't have a hand sanitizer in here. And it could fit. Obviously, you don't necessarily need both a lipstick and, you know, a lip balm. You can forego the roller ball and, you know, kind of shift it, play it around like that. Or you can also use the individual hand sanitizing wipes. Those are really bad for the environment, obviously. But you can, you know, put them in your bag for, you know, one night if it's a special occasion. But you can see it does fit quite a bit of stuff, even though it doesn't look like quite a large bag. I'm going to make sure to put the dimensions up on the screen for you so you can see exactly what you're dealing with. But considering that it's kind of a mini bag, it really does hold everything that you would not only need for a night out, but even just, you know, on a light day around town. All right, everyone, that's what fits inside my Stella McCartney. I'm really loving all these pieces, my Anna Luisa earrings in particular. I'm just so surprised and so happy with how much I am loving them. I think they look nice and modern, and I love that you can miss it, mix and match the pieces. Make sure that you check out my referral link in the description box down below. I also want to say, if you have made it this far in the video, please leave the word moon in the comments down below so I know that you made it this far and otherwise until next time bye